Hey guys, this is Ishwalamti. Do you know that you can shop on Amazon and have the items shipped to you right here in Ghana by DHL at a very cool rate? Yes, you can. So recently, I was having a conversation with a friend and I was telling him how cool it would be to have such a service. And then he told me there's actually something like that being offered by DHL, known as the DHL eShop. So I quickly googled it up and then I realized that you can actually shop on about 166 plus sites from either US or UK and then you can have the item shipped to you by DHL at a very cool rate. So here is how it works. All you have to do is to install the eShop app by DHL on Google Play Store or App Store or either install the extension in your Google Chrome browser and then you are good to go. So let's take a look at how this works in the browser and then we take a look at it on the mobile as well. So let's get into it. So on Google, we are going to go ahead to search for DHL eShop. So that's the first option in here. I'm going to go ahead to open it and then I'll go ahead and then click on the first URL we have in there. So once you come to the site, there are a couple of things you have to do. First of all, you have to create an account if you don't already have an account. Since I already have an account, I'm logging into my account automatically. And then you go ahead to install the Google Chrome extension. So that's what you have in here. So install the DHL eShop app and it's going to take you to the Google Chrome extension section where you get to add it to Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead to add it and it should appear somewhere at the top in here. So that's it, we have in here. I'm going to come back to the site. So let me just come back, let me just close this and then come back here. Now once I'm here, I get to see the shops that I'll be able to shop on. So let me just go ahead and then click on stores on app. So as you can see, there are tons of shops that you can actually shop from, either from US or from um, UK. And when you come to this section, you get to specify whether I want to shop from either US or just UK. And then we have categories in here. So if it is it auto parts, um, is it um, luxury, is it sports, is it tech? So if it's tech, um, I'll probably would want to shop for a tech device. So once you come to tech, you have Amazon, that is Amazon US or Amazon UK. So, or, or you have Apple Store as well here. So once I click on Amazon, it's going to go ahead to open up Amazon for me. So I just have to agree to the stamps here. And then I should be on Amazon. Now on Amazon, you don't necessarily have to create an account with Amazon before you can use this service. But it's, it's, it will be to your advantage if you have an account on Amazon. So once you have an account on Amazon, you'll be able to see your history, your orders and so on. But that's not really a requirement. If you don't have an account, let me just go ahead and then sign out. So you get to see that this really works. So. Um, so I've signed out from Amazon. Let me just come back to Amazon. So this is Amazon. I'm not, I think, uh, let me just refresh. I want to be sure if I'm not signed in, right? So I'm not signed in here. And uh, let me just go ahead and then browse some of the items they have in here. So let me just search for, let's see, uh, movie. So, um, so that's what we have in here. So I'm going to go ahead to click on this. And then I'm going to go ahead to then just see buying options and then add one to the cart. So I think, um, let me just come back. I don't think this option is going to work out best for me. Maybe this one, let me just try this. Okay, so I have the chance of adding it to the cart in here. So as you can see, I have something in the cart. Now, all I have to do is to hit on checkout slash pay now, which has been um, offered by the extension we installed from that is the DHL eShop. So I'm going to go ahead to click on that and then it's going to process and then take me to the DHL site for me to be able to go ahead to proceed with my orders. So over here, I guess I get to see the price of the item in US dollars. I get to see the tax rate for it. I guess um, I see the handling fee as well, as well as the shipping fee and then the total amount in Ghana cities. So now the Ghana cities amount you see is actually an estimated amount. So it could go up, it could go uh, below this. So once I'm cool with everything I see in here, I get to specify the duration I want to have this item ship. And then I specify the um, address I want it to be shipped to. And then I go ahead to specify the payment method as well. So once I'm done with that, then I can proceed to the next stage to check out. But even before then, let's come back to the store on app. Oh, I think um, there's one thing that you need to know. It actually, it's actually two. 
which which are first of all there are some items that you can't purchase and then have them shipped so let's take a look at some of these items i think that should be somewhere here so um yeah so unable to ship list yeah so these items so there's ton there are tons of items in here where you can't you can't have them shipped um, through this service so it's good to know you have to go through them first before you go ahead to proceed with your order and then secondly also you can't ship items above certain weight i i tried let me just come back to amazon and then try that because i tried um purchasing a laptop earlier and then it seems the size of the laptop was too much so it didn't allow me to proceed with that so let me just come back to amazon agree to this and then search for laptop so gaming laptop and then let me see if i will be able to check out so i think this option is okay let me just go ahead and then add it to the cart um no, i don't want any of these options so let me just go ahead and then check out and see how this is going to turn out items were removed because they did not meet the weight and or size requirements so just like i was saying even though you have access to purchase items on amazon or any of the um, sites there and they have them shipped to you you can't um, go above certain weights i i don't know where you get to see the weight which which are allowed in here but that's fine so first you search for an item where you get to um, be able to check it out using the eShop um, app or extension on google chrome i think that's good to go even though you won't be able to purchase almost everything but you should be able to purchase a couple of things using this particular service so let's go ahead and then take a look at how it works also on the app i actually use an android so that's what i'm going to do the demonstration with so let's take a look at how the app works so i'm going to go ahead to open up google play store and then i'm going to search for dhl eShop. so that's the first option i have in here i'm going to go ahead to install this it should take me some few seconds and then that should be done so let me just wait patiently as that gets installed so once i have it installed i'm going to go ahead to open it and then it's going to give me some welcome and then some tutorials to go through so let me just swipe and then swipe and then swipe and then i think that's just about it so i'm going to go ahead to start shopping and then this is going to ask me for the location for the device so i'm going to go ahead to allow it so it gets to see that i'm in ghana and then i go through the categories i have in here so i want to take i'll go ahead and then select let's say maybe computers and tablets and then i get to see the shops that offer or sell these products so i have amazon uk or amazon us so i think let me just go back and I select amazon us and then i go ahead to hit on agree so once that is done it's going to load amazon right in the app so i get to go through the items um, on amazon so let me just um, select this particular device and then let me just go ahead and then add it to the cut so i'm going to add it to the cut here and then i think um, i don't want to add this so that's just about it once i'm done there's a yellow button at the bottom that says checkout review cut or checkout so I think I'm done with my item, so I'm going to go ahead to hit on that. And then it's going to take some few seconds to load the next section for me. So, okay, so it says the item was removed because of the weight. So let me just remove that and then add something lighter than that. So let me just come back. Hit on continue shopping. Then let's say maybe I think there's some earbuds in here. Let me just go ahead and then add those. Um, okay, so let me just go ahead and then add this. And then go ahead and then add it to the cut. Okay, so that's just about it. Let me go ahead and then hit on proceed. It should, okay, so I get to see the other, um, that's the product um, amount, the tax and then the duties and then the handling fee as well as the shipping fee. And then if I'm okay with everything, I go ahead to hit on continue to take me to the next section. Now, just like I said earlier, I should have an account with the app. So I'm going to go ahead to log in into my account. So let me just enter my details here. So I have my details entered. I'm going to go ahead to hit on login. And then as you can see, I'm logged into my account here. So if I'm okay with everything I have in here, I'm just going to go ahead to hit on checkout. And then once I, I, I hit on checkout, it takes me to the 
the delivery method as well as the shipping address so i already have an address entered uh, let me just go ahead and then select this accra ghana and then specify the duration and then once i'm okay i'm going to go ahead to hit on review purchase it should take me to the next stage where i get to see the details about the order again and then if i'm okay i'm going to hit on make payment and then this is going to show me the payment method if i have any promo code i can go ahead and then add it if i don't i go ahead and specify the payment method and then i go ahead and hit on place order so this is going to bring me a form for me to pop, um, fill in with my uh, card details so that's just about how to go about the whole process using the app on does it the android app so you can also try it out on the ios as well so as you can see there are lots of things you can do with the dhl eShop app even though there were some little or some few um, downside that has to do with the weight of some products as well as some products which are not allowed to be shipped i think it's fine and it's a fair service considering the price for shipping and then and so on so in case you get to use this service kindly share with me in the comment section how the experience and everything was like i guess you saw how we went about the process using the mobile app as well as how we did it on the um, pc using the chrome browser with the help of the chrome extension so that's just about it for this particular video in case you are new all you have to do is to smash the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on like in case you enjoyed this video and when you hit on the subscribe, don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. So once again, my name is Eshmo Lamte. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.